It is to give you a snapshot of the fantasies that are operating in your unconscious at that moment that is warping your ability to see reality as it really is. And the dream may actually increase the fantasy in its most negative form so that when you wake up out of it you can see, wow, if that's the way I'm seeing things because I know it's not really true, then that could explain why I'm overreacting to this person or avoiding this or doing that. So it can come from that level. It can also come from other levels, including archetypal levels, where you're getting direct wisdom from the Bodhi, or you're getting direct God consciousness, or you're getting scenes of uh, future states that you'll be in. So dreams can have many different functions. But within the ego, it's often to show you how you're distorting your reality and you'll, what you'll believe if you don't understand how to interpret the dreams is that the distortion is reality and you'll go, aha, see I knew Shundyamurti was an evil vampire uh, and not realize that your unconscious is perceiving me that way because there's too much love coming at you and that's what you're afraid of, not being bitten and your blood being sucked out. But it may be that the ego's blood will be sucked out and it turns it into this kind of a fantasy. And that's why it's important not to try to interpret your dreams without really understanding the dynamics of how dreams get created. Okay? Very important. And, uh, and, and it's, a, it's a science, and it's an art, and it's a language that you have to learn. And to know that dreams do come from many different levels, not the same one always, with different functions and meanings and messages. And until you understand all of that, uh, you can falsely interpret it and go a long way in the wrong direction in life.